All right, so this is what we have left in the tobacco. Uh, the original pot, you remember, it was just overgrown. That was a complete sea of green. We've gotten them weeded out to these few. We need to do some culling back there, some small ones that are sprouting up, that one right there. This is the biggest one in the pot, so this is probably going to be the one that stays. Uh, but we'll leave those three just in case. This one, this one's probably going to stay. We'll go ahead and call that one out. Because I only want like two or three plants this year. I just want the seeds off of them, like I said. So one of those will be called out. And then we'll probably keep that one. So all these are transplants from this pot. Uh, and this is, let me look at the date. <coughs> 520 it's just 526 so we started these on 56 so it's been 20 days they should be bigger but they were old seeds so it don't matter how big they get I don't really care because as long as, as there's a plant there I'll get seed pods so uh, they don't have to you know get fully mature as long as they flower and give me some seed pods I'm happy now I've got more over here with this basil and I'm going to plant this uh, basil plant like in between three plants uh, somewhere next to them. Try to keep the hornworms off of them this year. Uh, like I said, not that it matters because I'm not, I'm not worried about the leaves. I just want the seeds. Uh, but if you have big healthy leaves, you know, it goes afar. You know, it helps get more seeds. So you'll get more flowers. You'll get more seed pods. So. That's going to be it for this one. This is probably the last culling video I'll do. Uh, so the next one, and by the way, when you transplant them, I just pulled the ones I wanted. They just have one root when they're small. Just one tap root. Uh, you just, you know, a little bit of hair on it. Pick them out. Pick the ones you want to keep, you know, gently. Uh, I just use my fingers because they're soft. I grab one of the leaves, and if it comes out, it comes out. If it don't, it don't. Uh, you've seen I had so many of them. And then I just poke a hole in the dirt with a pencil about maybe two inches and then stick it down in there and press around it with my finger to get the dirt to collapse in on it water them in that's it that's all I did to trans transplant them and you can see I didn't lose any of them during transplant I mean uh, not that you know of but you can see there's two plants in each of those pot that's what I transplanted in each pot I put two in this one there's still two uh, two still got two and then these are the ones I just left this is the original pot so these are the ones I just left in the pot uh, so everything went good with them uh, we'll be getting those transplanted probably about I don't know we'll let them get about five inches something like that four or five inches before we transplant them so we'll show you next time we call and that'll be the last calling video on this series that's it for this one thanks for watching YouTube